according to the World Report on Disability and Rehabilitation, 650 million people in the world live with disabilities. 35.2% of more than 400,000 Malaysians experience the physical disabilities and need a wheelchair. However, the current solution consisting conventional and motorized wheelchair are not only cost expensive but also requires much more physical effort to control, thus inducing the muscle fatigue for the user. It also restricts the use from the low-key patient who lost the muscle control, making them to fully depend on their caretaker. But now, be boundless. World Flux introducing the Blue AD, a low-cost front-wheel modular system wheelchair assist device with brain-computer interface and touch screen interface joystick-based control. It works using the rechargeable battery supporting a longer use the sensor and alarm system detecting the obstacle and falling angle, lead by the detachable front wheel modular wheel and the most valuable dual mode, brain computer interface and touch screen interface. The modular wheel and wheelchair system were designed using the solid work platform. The modular and system design were then realized into a conventional wheelchair which can be installed easily. The direct guideline made the attachment and connection process accessible for everyone. The user need to charge the battery until it hit yellow light. A single fully charged battery could sustain up to 25 km. The placement of battery is at the back, secured by the holder. To supply the power, the cable from the modular need to be plugged into the battery. The overall modular installation takes only 2 minutes. Now, switch on the system and ready to go. For mode 1, touch control interface, initialize Bluetooth to connect the WAD with the app in mobile phone. Control the navigation by just using touchscreen control interface that involves much less effort. The limit load for the wheelchair is 80 kg, manipulated by the material of 3D printed modular clamp. If the limit reach, the modular turning might disturb. The auto mode function for continuous movement by one touch command. And to stop this mode, select the red button. The brake or stop function respond in a delay due to inertia. For mode 2, brain computer interface involves these three main components. Before controlling the WAD, the user needs to undergo a set of training. After the wireless EEG cap placed on head, the acquisition data is acquired where the user focuses on the flickering part according to the computer command. The more acquisition training data taken are much more better as it represents the reference threshold. The last step is the online training using the SSBEP stimulator. One sort of the flickering part will be the input from the user. And these data will be processed to compare with the acquisition training data taken before. Then, a movement made when the threshold is reached. SSVEP gives a continuous control signal for PCI control, giving the visual cortex just what it needs to become the most active. So, a very powerful paradigm is produced. The sensor system implemented to increase the user's safety, WAD equipped with obstacle detection less than 180cm and poly detection when angle exceeds 60 degrees. Compared to available motorized wheelchair, WAD costs only 1,300 Malaysia ringgit excluding the BCI system. And this target not only the people with disabilities, but also the lock-in patient and older generation which has overall possess over 150,000 users all around Malaysia. With all the significance of WAD, they would smile brighter than yesterday.